defensive side of the ball today. Uh, what did you like about you know what you saw? S scored points. Yeah. Um, it, it was one of those things. Looking at the stats, he had 27 first downs. Mm -hmm. um, Quarterback, uh, we knew, uh, we found out last week he was tough. Yeah. He could take a hit. This week, uh, we got to see the guy that we saw in practice, which is a, a guy who can throw the ball accurately yeah. downfield. So um, it was good to see the offense operate with the way we want to operate. Yeah. And you'd assume, I mean, being a freshman, he's going to get better and better. Uh, how scary is it for opponents if he's already breaking records two games into his career? Yeah, uh, I mean, he's a guy that we, we expect him to be really special. Yeah. Um, that's why we recruited him the way we did. Um, he won the job clear out over the summer or at, at camp, mm -hmm. and he came in and he's done some things that uh, I saw. I saw other quarterbacks uh, that I had here that were pretty good. They're, I think Mike Leffelbein is going to end up being a Hall of Fame quarterback, and this guy does some things better than him. So mm -hmm. um, it's been one week though. Oh, yeah. He's um, he's he didn't score any points. So he scored six points last week and forty this week. So oh, yeah. I'll see what I get next week. And obviously, I was just talking to Marnell too. It takes time for you know a new quarterback to for receivers and quarterbacks to mesh together. I mean, does that look good sign too that you could get even better because these guys don't really probably know everything about him yet, you know, and they will yeah. later. Yeah, I mean, uh, the thing about the passing game is it's it's like a dance. Um, mm -hmm. It's so much timing and so much routes, especially with the uh, uh, the attack that we're doing, um, mm -hmm. where there's a lot of option routes all over the field that uh, just every rep he does in practice, he's getting a little bit better and a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So we're really looking forward to seeing what comes next. Another thing I would ask, but was on the defensive side, I told Aaron, I noticed that other than the last drive against Utica, your defense hasn't given up any touchdowns this year. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah. Like um, we about, they're they're really good. I, I look at that defensive line. I mean, you got Marable, but then you got those other three guys. You got linebackers that can fly around Riley Cott, mm -hmm. Liam Murray, uh, Amir, and Pat Vandermark, the linebackers. But then you got Cognetta and Burns in the back half, Ramad at corner. You know, I mean, they're not doing flashy things. It's not one of those things where they're making offenses earn it. And uh, we faced a couple quarterbacks. We've been able to fight a couple quarterbacks now. We've made them look bad. Yeah. Um, and uh, those guys are playing at a high level. I feel terrible about the interception return for a touchdown because it's nice to get those shutouts. Like, we could have had two straight shutouts for Coach Bruno. I was wondering, like, how does your offense usually do against your defense so far in practices? Like, who's... <laughs> I, it seems like in, if you want to see me get angry in practice, it's on Thursday two-minute drill when the offense mm -hmm. goes against the defense. Yeah. Uh, it's because usually the defense gets the better part of the offense. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's been that pretty consistently here for when Kyron Brown Wallace was playing and oh, James yeah. Holly Grisham in safety uh, to now with uh, I can't, we can't block Ethan Roberts or Tyler Mirable. So oh, yeah. uh, it, it makes it's a big pain in the ass, to be honest yeah. with you. But. I'm glad I get to face them Monday through Friday and not on Saturdays. How does it help the lucky young quarterback that he's going against those guys in practice all week? And maybe what he sees on Saturday might not be as tough as his own practice could possibly hear, you know? Yeah, I don't, never, I don't know. I've never played the quarterback. I think it helps him just because yeah. he's going to have a lot of moving parts. But they wear a yellow jersey. They can't get touched. I mean, oh, yeah. I just meant like breaking up plays yeah. and stuff. No, they, they, they challenge them in, the, in right. certain drills. But uh, yeah. um, they're making them better from – just from compared to this week, compared to last week, um, it just kind of goes to show you that how good I think that Utica defense was to, yeah. to really handle this offense like we did last week to us, to come out this week to Norwich defense and uh, really able to put some really great numbers stat-wise on the field. But yeah. uh, it was nice to see. Yes, the first thing I'm going to ask before I ask you about just today's game, I know it's the third, first two games of the year the defense has only had one drive, you know, score against them all year. What have you liked about what you've seen so far uh, in the field? Everything's just clicking. We're buying into our, mm -hmm. buying into our keys and just playing at 100 percent all the time. Yeah. What have you? Uh, if some of the younger players too have, have kind of stepped to what, What's it just been like as a group out there? Uh, as a group, we just came together closer and closer since we got to camp. So mm -hmm. it's just a brotherhood on defense and trying to bring the whole team together. And mm -hmm. we're going after one goal. And today, I was going to ask you, how does it feel when you have one of those games where you can go out and do your celebration in the courtyard and stuff? You, know, you didn't get to do as much last year, but what's it like when you get the day like oh, that? That's the best feeling in the world, to be able yeah. to ring that bell and sing the alma mater, support the school, and yeah. just have a good time with your brothers. Does it make it more special, too, that it was a homecoming game? Is you a lot of alumni here that maybe aren't here every week you got to watch you guys? Oh, yeah, definitely. Homecoming game is big, huge. Preach it all week. Mm -hmm. It's a trophy game, and it's homecoming. Everybody comes back for homecoming, and they want to know who wore their number, and they want to know... Mm -hmm who is going to show up and play on homecoming. And this week in general, I was just curious, obviously you kind of had a tough opening week. Uh, what was it like just getting ready for this game? What, what kind of mood were you guys in as a team? Or you know, We were good. Yeah. 100%. Just came back Monday morning ready to work. Yeah. 
And I also, like the last game against the Avs, you have a big game next week coming up at Brock Park. How can this kind of a game help you guys confidence wise to going into the first road game of the year? To, you know? uh, going into the first road game of the year, nothing's changing. Yeah. We're gonna have a plan. We're gonna execute the plan. We're gonna work hard all week and get ready to go on Saturday. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, what do you think of the offense today? If, the way you guys played? Um, it was a big improvement. Mm -hmm. Offense last week, we kind of we sputtered. I mean, we were in the red zone a lot. Couldn't really get that cap capitalization in that kind of area, and uh, yeah. when, when you don't do that, you lose games. That's what happened last week. But as you yeah. saw this week, we were kind of firing on all cylinders. We still left a lot of opportunities on the table, but putting up 40 points, go shot throwing for over 400 yards. That's yeah. it's a big plus in our offense, and we're just we're going to move forward from here. Yeah, after a tough opening week, like, what was your kind of your guys' motivational week in practice? Like, was uh, like getting ready for this game. Just Coach Puck's mantra of keep swinging. Yeah. I mean, uh, he says it all the time. He tells us uh, we break it down on swing a lot. Um, you just got to keep going. You can't you can't look back at those those games and think ah oh, well, what could have been what could have happened. But look at the next game. Live in the present. Yeah. You get we, we try and give ourselves a couple hours. You know if you want to be upset whatever do your thing. But the, within those next couple hours and it's the next week. You okay. got to be ready to go. And obviously in college things change all the time with players coming and going. But what's it like kind of adjusting to a new quarterback and what do you like so far about Tyler? Um, adjusting is is just something that happens. I mean mm -hmm. everybody changes their game so it's just. Getting reps together, and I mean, over, over throughout camp, we, we kind of got a bond together, and a lot of the receivers were liking what he was doing. I mean, we still have Ruthman who can sling the ball. We still have Berkey who can sling the ball too. So um, there's still always that competition in that quarterback room. But Groshart really solidified that today, as you could see. He was oh, yeah. he was slinging the ball around, and the kid's a competitor. He'll always go out there. He knows his stuff. He he studies late. So nice. uh, we like what he's doing, and I mean, he's got three more years to do this. So hopefully, it becomes great. That's nice. That's a veteran player. Like, what, what do you think when you see a guy's second game in college and he's already breaking school records? Uh, I mean, as a veteran player, I mean, I, I kind of went through the system like everybody else did, and yeah. it, you don't see stuff like that. That's something special. A freshman doing something that big, yeah. um, and it's just an testament to him that he was he was locked in this whole week. He watched the extra film. He got in the extra plays. And uh, he came out and balled out for the rest of us. What did you like about what you guys did on offense today? I thought we played well. I mean, mm -hmm. as a unit, I think we did a lot better than last week. I think yeah. we came out, we knew what we had to do. And we kind of, I mean, first half went well. And I think yeah. the, good, the, the key for us was not to stop after yeah. the first half and keep going, mm -hmm. keep doing what we were doing. And we did that well, I think. Yeah, after having the tough week last week, how much motivation was there this weekend? I this mean, game? yeah, I mean, it was tough to lose like that last week. But I think... Uh, Every week's a new game for us, mm -hmm. so going in, Utica, after after we watched the film, it was Utica's done, it's on to Norwich, yeah. next opponent, next thing, so yeah. that was kind of our deal. I was asking Coach Puck over too, you guys have such a good defense, uh, how tough is it in practice when you have to go up against those guys? Yeah, I mean, I go against Ethan Roberts and uh, Tyler yeah. Mirabile a lot, and they're both very, very good at what they do, so mm -hmm. I think going against those guys all the time mm -hmm. helps me at least when I go against guys on other teams, because oh, yeah. nine times out of ten, I, I mean, I believe that I'm facing better people in practice than I yeah. end up facing in a game. So it's, it's great competition, and I mean, those yeah. guys compete and practice hard. I compete and practice hard, so it works out well. And obviously, what's, what's it like, you know, with your new quarterback playing with him? This, I mean, I set a school record today passing. Yeah. Uh, it's only his second game. I mean, how, how excited are you to see what you guys I mean, can do? Yeah, he's a beast. I mean, he's a great yeah. kid too. He came into camp. He was ready to work and. He did well from day one, and he's just mm -hmm. he's only gotten better in my eyes. And he takes control of the offense that you got to do as a quarterback. And mm -hmm. he he's a great player, he's a great kid, so I love him. And what did you notice about how he handled? Him? Because last week was probably tough for him too. What did yeah. you notice about how he handled that? I mean, you? I think I think him and the offense as a whole. I think mm -hmm. we bounced back well, and uh, I think we knew what we had to do. Like I said, and oh, yeah. kind of we had our game plan and we stuck to it, and I think we performed well. Mm -hmm.